Creating an environment on CloudShare is one of the most common tasks to accomplish. It's the basis of all of your work. So we'll start by looking at a couple of the options we have for that. You can build something based on one of CloudShare's own previously built environment templates. You can also base something on an environment that you've created in the past and taken a snapshot of. Or you can build something custom, which is what we'll do in this case here. As you can see in this case, it's going to use a short four hour policy. That means after four hours, the environment will delete itself unless I take a snapshot. From the list of templates you see here, we can select a few different machines, all with varying sizes. All that will fit into this bucket of resources here of 32 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs of disk space, and 10 CPUs. We'll select a few Windows servers. or search for something from the list as well. So we'll go ahead and save that. And as soon as we start creating that environment, it'll be ready in a couple moments here. And while that's preparing, let's look at something that we've used in the past here. This one I just created a few minutes ago, and it's ready to be accessed. From the right-hand side, we have all the menu options to edit the environment, increase the amount of hardware available, or edit the networks. Changing the hardware is as simple as selecting the option you want to edit and increasing or decreasing it. Note though that if you increase the hard drive space of a machine you can't actually reduce it. Now that I've got the environment configured just how I want it, I can go ahead and start working in the machines themselves. To begin working on the machine now that it's all ready to be used, I can go ahead and click View VM or go ahead and select full screen RDP and it will automatically load into that view. 